Last week, several local council one chairpersons across the country took oath of office in sometimes dramatic scenes. The name of the Almighty God. This swearing did not go down well with the Forum for Democratic Change Party leaders as the election results that brought these people into office had not been published in the National Gazette. Consequently, party parliamentary chief whip Ibrahim Somjunganda told journalists at FDC headquarters in Najanankombi that the LOC1 election results are illegal until they are published in the Gazette. We've mandated the FDC secretary for legal, uh, Mr. Abednasa Mujiowele, to take the electoral commission to court. You are aware that uh, for you to be sworn in as an elected leader, your results must be gazetted. There are no gazettes for anyone elected, so we don't know who got how many votes where, but these fellows continue presiding over swearing in ceremonies. Even if you wanted to challenge results in courts of law, you cannot challenge results that are non existing. We tried getting in touch with the Electoral Commission officials. They are yet to comment on the matter. Meanwhile, the FDC President Patrick Oboy Amriat will lead the party leadership to a meeting with the Interregious Council of Uganda. The National Party Dialogue follows the endless squabbling between the FDC and the ruling NRM party since the 2016 elections. Semujunganda explained that they would meet the Interregious Council of Uganda to discuss what are the terms of the dialogue. But first of all, for us to be involved in a dialogue, there must be an agenda of that dialogue. That dialogue must have a neutral person to preside over the dialogue, and there must be a guarantor. Several attempts have been made to have the national dialogue, but there is no positive outcome. Jumakiria, NTV. Thank <laughs> you.